The first thing though that we are actually able to write some code is to set up our local development environment. Now in this course I'll use TypeScript to write Angular 2. Now before you're running away scared what TypeScript is, I just want to explain to you TypeScript is additional layer to JavaScript which compi compiles down to plain old JavaScript in the end which was chosen by the Angular 2 team as their core language to build Angular 2 on as it offers some features plain JavaScript doesn't offer as of now. That includes classes which kind of were added but it also includes a modular approach, um, decorators, some very nice things which really help us in developing Angular 2 apps and which were the reasons, reasons why um, the Angular 2 team picked TypeScript and which is the reason why we will follow their path and also use TypeScript. Now setting it up is real easy. The first thing we need to install TypeScript and what we will need throughout this course is npm, node package manager. So let's get this. Fire up a new tab on your browser and just enter npm. And the very first result is the one you're looking for. Then you want to scroll down to installing npm and then just pick whatever operating system you're on and so on. Just pick your right installer. Now once npm is installed, just enter TypeScript into your browser, get to the very first result, click on get TypeScript now and just follow this instruction here and enter npm install minus g TypeScript, which will install it globally on your computer, which is perfectly fine because we will need it for all our Angular applications. So once you've done this, you're almost ready to go. An additional thing is head over to GitHub to download an Angular 2 boilerplate, which I set up, which will include everything you need to get started in a second. No more configuration needed. Just clone a specific GitHub rep repository. And specifically, I want you to head over to github.com mschwarzmuller, which is my name, and then slash angular2 beta boilerplate. This is the boilerplate you will need and then you can either download it as a zip or easier just copy this link here, fire up a new terminal window and now let's create our project folder and there just write type git clone and the link you paste copied here. Now, if you don't have git install or something like this, it's perfectly fine just to download that zip file, unzip it, and you're all ready, ready to go to. Now, once this cloning is done, cd into the newly direct, uh, created directory here, and then we need to execute the command mp install which will now install all the packages and dependencies required by Angular 2. And this installation process will take some time. I'll be back once it's finished on my computer. Okay, my installation just finished. And now what we're gonna do is start gulp, which will take care about the transpiling of TypeScript to normal JavaScript by just entering gulp here. And then we will need a new terminal window in the same directory. And inside this directory, we need to enter npm start, which will run a live server. You can see here, and as you can see, when it writes hello world on your screen in the browser here, everything is working fine and your Angular 2 app is working. Now in the next video, we will change what we see here and write our very first own component.